Hey guys, welcome to another video and today we are going to start setting up our video player section. So first of all, let's do one thing, let's not have these controls, that let's make our video player a little bit more, you know, custom so that it will look like, yeah, it's a good website, okay, something like that. I just want to make it look good, to be honest. No other things, I don't want to do anything else, okay. Just want to make it look good and that's what we are going to do. And that's what our main focus will be, basically. So, first of all, let's get rid of the related video stuff like that for now. Let's get rid of this thing also. We have here, uh, at the start point, we just have here the flex, the flex call. So, okay. Let me just rename this flex call stuff like that to some like video container. Okay, basically we're just making it, we're just making a class name with the name of video container. And then I'm gonna have this video right here. I don't think it needs uh, something like that property. So we need to have our custom container. So while we are having our, our own custom, you know, control stuff like that, what do we have to do? We basically have to make a new div. So we have to add div like you know a dot. Let's suppose it's with the name of video uh, control container, something like that. So in the video control container, we're gonna have two divs. It's gonna be just like flex both of them. We're gonna have two divs. One div is going to be the timeline div, another div is going to be our options div, which will have play, pause, uh, full screen, play, in, uh, you know, mini screen, or go to theater mode, or even we have will have options for playback speed. You can manage your playback speed, and you can fast forward the fast forward the video. You can you know forward the video. Go back to the video, and uh, maybe we will also enable uh, add the option to you know get a preview of the uh, you know video while you're just hovering over your hovering over you know that thing. What we said, the timeline basically. So I can just make it uh, do for now for the timeline, and later on we'll just set it up actually. So I'm gonna say it's gonna be with the name of timeline timeline container, and we're just gonna we're just gonna keep it empty for now. Okay, wouldn't have to do anything with the timeline container basically because. We'll be working with controls. This is going to be our control section, and in the control section, we're going to have uh, quite a few things, and then we'll see how to deal with those things. We're just going to have all the things that I mentioned before, right? Great, huh? Uh, okay. Now, uh, yeah. So, what we have to do basically in the uh, after. Having a controller setup like that, I think. Let's get the video one, two. So I think video is in the correct position. We didn't have to do much of a thing, change, much, of a, much of a change for the video itself. And other than, would you have to uh, global CSS? Let's go to global CSS. One second. Do -do 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 -do. We're just having here the video source, which is going to be in chapter example, something like that. It doesn't have an audio though, so maybe having no audio can be a little bit of issues for us. So. We have we will need an audio eventually, but for now we're just saying yeah it's pretty fine. What do we have to do now basically? Let's say yawn dev and uh, I don't think we need node mod for now. If we do a refresh. So this is how our video looks like. It doesn't have any controls, nothing, it just basically is that state. Now Let's go to our global dossier. So then here we're gonna make a class for our video container. We're basically gonna say our video container position is going to be relative because we need to have our controllers over it, and then it's gonna be a thing. So basically, what is going on here? I want this video length to be actually. We don't want it to be hundred percent of our screen. We want it kind of like more like this video, more like a. Not actually this video, I mean the whole video container more like uh, a 90% taking the width of the other things. Uh, let's go to this video. My bad, my bad. Let me pause it out and uh, basically what we get to see here is that our video looks like something like that, but it doesn't look like exactly like that, but I'm just showing an example, okay. So you may notice your this video is probably taking like up to I would say uh, ninety percent width in total because it's not hundred percent. 
uh, so we can just assume it's at around 90 percent like that. We can just keep it there. And just say wait, we want around 90 percent, and there's a going to be condition. Okay. If you have a video like this, I'm gonna scroll it all the way. You know, I'm gonna make it smaller. You can see the video will stay that way no matter how much scroll, how much we scroll out. So that means there's a max width. It doesn't allow us to, you know, bypass the max width. So we're gonna assume the max width uh, somewhere around. Don't actually assume. I just tested before. It's gonna be around thousand pixels. That's about the max width. And then we have the display flex as usual. And then we can see just, just if I turn to the center, we want all of our things to be centered. And we have a background color of black. So this is how what it looks like, and you can see it's not in the middle. We want this thing to be exactly in the middle. So for, to do that, we'll just go back. We'll just say margin inline this should be uh, margin inline should be auto margin inline. Okay, so you can see now basically this is inlined, and uh, why you know made the width to be ninety percent because you can see there's a little bit black bars here. So that's what we want. We don't exactly want to show the whole video. It does. It, it, it look kind of like a cheap thing, okay? So that's exactly why I did this, okay? I guess we need container stuff like that. We have the position. We have the related things. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Do we need anything else in here? I defined the video controls, but I don't think we need the video controls for now. Maybe we will define a few more things, and other off that we will just go into the control section, okay? Video container. I don't think we need anything else in here. Um, let's go back to it here. So here we have video control container. So maybe we'll have okay, video control container. What we have this. We have video control container. Control container. So video control container. Oh, sorry. Video control containers will have its own thing basically. Okay. So let's say first of all. Video itself is going to have a width of 100%. Okay, we are having 90% size on the uh, right and left side. If I try to make it smaller, it's just going to be fixed because we had defined the 90% width, so it doesn't take the whole screen, right? If I try to make it, you know, bigger, it just stays there because we have said max width is only going to be 100 pixels. It will not go more than 100 pixels. Okay. Seems good to me. Let's go back to all these visual studio code and we define this thing for the video handle person should be taking this. And then we have our control container. We can control controller, so basically this is going to have a position of absolute we have a bottom of zero. We just want this thing to be exactly on the middle left side, okay? So just the left is going to be zero, right is going to be zero. Let's suppose color is going to be white because I want to see this thing exactly. And we're gonna give it a Z, Z, Z index of around 200. So we can exactly, you know, we make sure that our controllers should uh, overlap our video. It should just, you know, it should not just hide behind. And let's see how is it going. Then. Okay, we got nothing here because we define nothing. Let's go back in the controllers. We're gonna have a button. The name of the class of uh, pause play btn. Let's call it play. You can see we got play btn at the very end thing. Okay, exactly. That's what we wanted to do. Now let's go back here. Let's say initially opacity is going to be zero, and we're gonna have a transition on in uh whenever we change the opacity, we want the around 150. MS is in ease out, isn't is in out a transition. It's going to be a little bit, you know, a uh, uh, little bit, you know, what we say, uh, dull in color. And then we want to make the opacity one. Once we just hover over it or do stuff like that, basically. So what we're going to do for now is we'll say our video container. If someone hovers over our video container, what we want to do, we want to apply our, we want to say video control container. It should have the opacity. Of one, if someone over hovers over our video container, so if I hover over it, you can see the play is just being visible in the very bottom. It is being visible when I hover over it. 
so that's exactly what we are saying for now and then listen another thing because we want our you know play button to be uh, accessible while we hit press, press tab initially if it's being you know in the tab section you can see this there a little bit border but it doesn't shows up so I want it to show up what we can do for that you can just say copy this entire thing paste it entirely back again under the same cover we can say uh, focus within that's the property we use if I do a refresh I say tap 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 you can see now it just shows this one if I go back it just disappears it just disappears now we want another property to be there we'll say if our video container contains a uh, class name with the name of pause that exact means the video is paused and we want our, con our controllers to show there so we'll just have another thing right here if your video container contains pause class then I want opacity to be 1 in that case also you can see it by default has the uh, uh, class name of uh, pause added in there because we added it here that's why they're showing this play button right there so that is something that we exactly want to happen want to have and now got the opacity did it did, did noise let's say something like what do we want we want the play pause button and uh, let me think about this one we want the play button we want the pause button okay then we want to uh, actually kind of like uh, what do we say maybe buttons to actually uh, control our volume maybe okay so first of all let's set up our buttons right there in here we're gonna have a font font awesome icon I'll have to import it from somewhere else you can use font awesome icons also icon is going to be okay, far play and this one is going to be for the div containing a class name of play icon then we have another one for uh, pause containing our pause icon so for now it all looks like uh, this play pause just you know hovering into this rounding over themselves we want to fix that thing and we're gonna fix that thing in a minute let's go to global css now we have to fix this thing we need to say oh video control containers and inside this one where there are or controls what we want to do we want to have it to have a display of flex we have a little bit gap between all the items the gap is going to be about 0.25 RAM of distance it can you know uh, it, this, this is just like you know RAM is just like one RAM is the font size of the thing and keep it 0.25 or 0.5 have a little bit of padding maybe 0.25 RAM padding between uh, it's padding just like the space between every single thing between you know padding is just like kind of like a, you know this you just want the item to be a little bit separated I want point uh, two five RAM distance from all of my side and all of my sides of my controls all or you can say basically not exactly controls uh, all of the things that we have in the control section and I want the align items to be centered so this this is basically something that I want to do or now you can see now it looks much better because first it was just going on the very left side and now it looks more humid <laughs> now let's have another class is going to be video control container and this one is going to be the same for the controls but the controls having buttons as elements so I'm gonna have first of all they're gonna have no background because they're gonna have the, be, they're gonna be the icons and themselves and bottle is going to be none also and then we'll have a Let's suppose color is going to be inherited because we don't really much care about this thing for now. I'll just say color is going to be default. And we're going to have no padding on them, basically. I will just say height is going to be 30 pixels and the width is going to be 30 pixels. Having a, you know, a same height and width for icons just make them look much more cleaner. 
exact same atom is having the same height and width and then we'll say font size is going to be like around 141 ram which means uh, 0.1 size bigger than the normal font size that we'll have in our uh, site and then cursor can be pointer but buttons will have by default cursor pointer we can just leave that thing you can have an opacity of 0.5 so basically we're just saying uh, the buttons should be a little bit more lighter so we can just say 0.5 or 0.85 so we'll just say unless until we don't hover over our buttons if they're gonna be have the opacity of little bit you know dim color and once we hover them this is gonna be uh, light you know this is gonna be you know more solid color so we'll exactly get to know that we are hovering over something and then we'll have the same thing a transition for exactly you know kind of like getting an animation stuff when we uh, actually change the opacity we'll say opacity basically the same thing that we did before 150 ms and easing it out easing out okay that's about uh, what we do here now we need to set up uh, once we hover over this thing so hovering is just basically what we have to do we just say yeah, copy this thing we just change say if I hover over this thing I just want to change the opacity to be 1 if I go back you can see if I hover over this thing this op its opacity is going to be 1 okay its opacity is going to be 1 that's exactly what we want to do now if we go back here now what do we, what do we want to do we want our pause icon and our uh, play icon to be uh, by default with the display of none so how I'm gonna do this I'm gonna say first of all if our video container contains the class of pause which means the video is ex exactly paused then uh, what I want to do I want to pause I can one second I'll tell you so basically we just we'll just say if our video is currently paused we have the pause uh, class list added there what I want to do I want to hide my pause icon because pause icon will be shown only once we once the video is being played so let's just say dot video container if it has pause uh, pause class then what I want to do I want to get the pause icon and I want to make its display none basically just like that and there's another property we can use we can just say video container uh, not dot pause which means which basically just say it is doesn't contain the class of pause then what I, what I want to do I want to say my play icon should have a property of display none so both looks the same way. If I go back here, you can see by default it's having this play button because well, we have added uh, pause icon, pause the class in the video. If I do get rid of this one, we go back and see it just refresh, and now here we have this uh, pause icon. So that's the thing we got to do. Uh, that's the thing we exactly did. Okay. So that's we're pretty set up in their section now yeah that's great now let's go back here now what do we want to do here so first of all before doing anything else we would just want to kind of like you know make our things kind of like make more sense out of our things whatever we are doing we just want to ex actually make them work like like let's say pausing the video or playing the video or doing stuff like that so we exactly want our things to exact actually work right because for now nothing is being uh, nothing is just like working so we'll just say something like first of all this video we'll just say ref is being equal to constant video is going to be equal to use ref by default having the value of null and we'll say ref is being equal to video so what does this mean this means we're just connecting this ref with this video so we'll just actually get to you will be actually able to use this video element okay yeah, I got this video right there. We're gonna say video ref and constant video is being equal to video ref dot current. So we don't the current will actually have the HTML, so we don't have to actually say video ref dot current every single time we define it anywhere. Okay, that's great. Now what we have to do? We need to add some event listeners for this video, so we'll add them here. I'll get rid of this slash video we'll just do slash here and first thing with listen is going to be on play when the video starts playing I would say toggle play uh, we can just say toggle play for both of them on play or on pause it doesn't really matter but uh, yeah, I can just you know on play by default toggle play btm so it's also like play 
all functionality. Something like that will say constant. Toggle play button is going to be like this. And what I exactly wanted this, it to do, we'll say if video dot pause. So video dot pause just means video element will have a uh, it will have few functions. We'll say dot pause exactly means if the video is currently paused. Then what I want to do, I just want to say video dot play. Then stop playing the video. Otherwise, I will say video dot pause. Otherwise, pause the video if it's not playing. We're just gonna do this thing once we click on the button. That's exactly what's happening. Either play it or pause it, right? Now there's gonna be a few more things. We're having on play and then we're having the on pause. Uh, toggle play button. Either video play it or pause it. Exactly, we're not going to have this thing on the on play section. Nope, we're gonna have this thing applied mm, on play pause button. Going to play, I'm just, I just want to play it. If I stop playing, then I want to not play it. So on click, toggle play button. I want to have it here. And what I want you instead here to do is just basically you know set up these things. If the video is actually playing, if it's on play, then I want to do something else. If it's not on playing, if it's not, the video is not currently playing, then I want to do something else. Okay. So let's have a ref for the video container. So ref is going to be equal to video container. Video container, container ref. So basically, we have video container right now. So we can exact actually use the video container without any issues. Now, what do I do with the video, video container? So basically, we'll say when we're playing the video, I want to remove the class list paused, uh, uh, paused from here from our video container. And whenever we have paused the actual video, what do we want to do? What do we want to do? We just basically want to add the. Uh, uh, class list or uh, in add the class of pause in the video container section. So in order to, to do that we need to have the on play function we need to use the on play function and on pause function. So let's play on play function what we want to do I'm gonna say our video container dot class list uh, when you are playing the video remove pause class and then goes our on pause function if I pause the video, then I want to just add the video, uh, add the paused class you know, into a video. So these two other things, and uh, I'm not sure what's going to happen. We need to actually see. Uh, we actually need to see what's going to happen. Basically, to be honest with you. Okay, one second. We're just saying on play. This is only going to be updated here. Refresh. Okay. Can I read this property? Of? No. Really paused. I don't need property of no. Video ref dot current. Video dot paused. Okay, why is it no? Cannot read properties of undefined reading video. Oh, here yeah, we need to have video ref instead. We need to have video container ref instead, other than saying video itself. Let's do a refresh. Let's try to pause play it. Okay, it's working fine. Now they we pause the video. This is showing this play icon. I click on here. It, uh, play the video again. I click here. You just pause the video. So that's working pretty fine. Pretty glad it worked. So by default, we're having the pause system added here. So basically, the by default, the video will be, will be paused. If so if we play it, it just shows like that. If you pause it, it shows like that. Play, pause, play, pause, play, and pause. That's good. So we set it up a basic setup for the pause play system. Now we're gonna go into a little bit more things. That's going to be basically adding the modes like our theater mode, our mini player mode, and our full screen mode. So these things are pretty much simple. I will be honest with you. They don't have much of a thing as much complicated you might think of them as. Well, note that if that is the thing you think of, well, you're wrong because that exactly you don't have. That's something you don't have to think about. Now, what are we gonna do basically? Okay, we are inside the button. You're gonna say 
uh, make a button with the name of let's say first of all uh, oh, mini player BTN probably mini player button. It's gonna have a button mini player button a button icon, and then we have our theater button. Then we have we'll have a full screen button. So we had those two. We have a theater button, full screen button, stuff like that. And uh, we need a few icons here. We need to add the icons. So I tried to do a little bit more research into this thing, but I couldn't really much find much of our icons that I can personally use for this thing. Like for the mini player, for the full screen. But I did found for the full screen thing. So we'll just say uh, dot open. Full screen. How can I say dot open as you know? Yeah, this mode is open. Oh, we can have some like close. No, it's not open. So once we're saying what I can, we want to show once we are ex exact. Actually, you know, in the full screen mode, when I say one dot icon, I want to have the icon of uh, minimize and uh, if if you are in the close section, let's say for uh, maximize. And uh, for the theater and mini player button, I couldn't really much find an icon, so I had to copy others. I don't know, it's fine SVGs online, and I need to copy those icons. So basically, what I'm gonna do is just copy the icons. Wait, wait a minute. Okay, so I said I got these icons, and I am also giving it the class name. I will explain you this thing in a minute. So what I'm doing here, I'm having two icons for the theater button. One icon is going to be once the theater button has been triggered. It's currently um, we are currently in the theater button, and then another icon is going to show once we are not in the theater button. Okay. And for the mini player, we're only going to have one icon because we don't really much. It doesn't really much matter we are in the mini player or not, because once we are in the mini player, we're gonna have a little bit of mini players and uh, stuff like that. You know, on our, you know, over our browser. So. It doesn't really matter what we do with it, so that's something we have to consider as a thing. Great, great. Now let's go to CSS. Let's quickly set up our CSS for these things that we just right now added. First, we will just say if our video container. So what will happen once we you know let's say we're in the we are in the theater mode. I will add a class in the video container. I will add add something like here a theater maybe a full screen or a mini player something like that. So what are we gonna do? You can see video container dot theater is added. Then what I want to do with the tall class, let's say this should be null. So basically we're just saying if theater is actually set it, you know, basically we're in the theater mode, what do we want to do? Okay, no no no. Why uh why do I come to be none? So one second. What am I actually doing here? I'm just saying if we do the container contains a theater class, then the white icon, um, the white icon, this one, should be hidden. No, we want our tall icon to be hidden. So basically, once actually we're in the, you know, theater mode, what I want to do, I want to show I can like we're in the theater mode. Our icon should be a little bit more uh, wider. But if we are not in the theater mode, our Video container does not contain, not contain the theater. Then what I'm gonna say, I say, well, why I can should have a display of none. Okay, that's basically all, all we have to say. And I will just copy these things. Do same for the full screen. Instead of saying tall, I will just say if it's up, it will it, it's. I want to say no. If we're in the full screen mode, I want to hide my open uh, icon. If it's not in the full screen mode, I wanna hide my close icon. So that's all I got to do here. Basically, for the mini icon, mini player icon, I don't have to do anything because it does have the one icon, and the one icon it doesn't really much have much of the things that we can do. So I would say I will just keep that thing the way it is already. It already is. Okay, nice.
So this was the play slash pause functionality. Very basic to be honest. And we have the display modes functionality. And here we're gonna have a few, uh, few functions. So this is function one is toggle theater mode. Then we have toggle full screen mode. Toggle mini player mode so we have three modes three functions first one is going to be the toggle theater mode next one is going to be the toggle uh, maybe more like a uh, pause full screen mode it's going to you know control the full screen things you no know, video stuff like that so yeah that we have our enter mini player mode and now we exactly at this moment we need to use if I took so let's say Get the use effect here as we'll be accessing a few things. If you are, we'll be adding a few event, add the event listeners that probably are not directly available in, into our what do we say? Uh, that directly are not available into our React functions. Let's suppose we are going to add, add a function that's going to be you know enter picture in picture that's going to uh, force our mini player mode. Let's say enter picture in picture you can see now they don't provide the thing and we'll have another one for leave picture in picture and guess what they don't even provide that thing right so right there that's the problem they don't even they don't really much provide that thing so that's why we need to have a use effect hook and in the use effect what we're gonna say which is basically gonna say for document dot element listener we're gonna listen for the not actually in the document you're gonna say for our video, video dot add event listener. We're gonna add an event listener for the video. Enter picture in picture. So I will be adding this functionality, like whatever it's going to do. We'll be calling, you know, we'll be forcing picture in picture inside of our uh, toggle mini player mode, and we'll be forcing our. Uh, leave picture in picture using our toggle mini player mode basically the same thing for both of them they're gonna have functions and the functions are going to do whatever we want them to do okay basically like that and for the functions we're gonna add a class of mini player in the class list and the once we add the, the enter picture in picture I wanna add a mini player class into our video container okay let's first of all set about theater mode function so the theater mode function is just going to do nothing. We're just gonna have this simple thing. Very container dot class list dot add theater. And uh, we actually didn't set up anything for the theater actually, I guess. Did we? No, I don't think so. Um, we need to set up a few things for the theater mode actually to actually work, right? So basically, the theater mode is is just going to be as our normal mode mode, but it's going to have more like you know, it's going to have a height of 80 VH, which means 80 viewport height of our total screen. When we're gonna when we are going into our theater mode, what we want to do basically want to you know see some kind of you know we want to see. We want our video to be have a height of total 90, 80 viewport. So we're gonna have you know our video to be um, a lot more bigger, but not in the full screen. A full screen is just going to have a hundred viewport height, max height of hundred viewport, and the theater mode is, going to, is just going to have the max height of 90 viewport. So that's the basic thing. I'm gonna say dot uh, video container dot if the mode is theater set I wanna have the max height as a TV port and if the thing is same for the full screen if there is full screen I want to say max height is going to be hand on viewport height or maybe we'd say it is just as 90 
because it doesn't because it will not really much matter. If we say it hand run, we also have the nav bar, so they're gonna have issues. We're gonna have actually hand run 10 viewport height instead of having just hand run. And what I wanna do, I wanna say if we are in our full screen mode or in our theater mode, ah, what I wanna do, I want my width to be hundred percent. I want my video continue width to be hundred percent, right? Yeah, we want that thing to happen. I wanna say the video continue if it's in theater mode or if it's in a, a full screen mode. All I wanna do, I wanna say well, max width, max width should be an initial initial width. Like whatever they want it to be, max, you know, maximum. So maximum is just going to be, you know, if you have 4K display, you have a 8K display, you have a lot more 64 uh, inch monitor, just going to fix, you know, set up the max width according to your monitor. And then we have the width, which is going to be 100% by our side. And then whatever happens in the future, we'll see about that, what happens in the future. Because in our side, we're just saying, yeah, this is what we want, and now you do what you have to do, okay? Mm, do, 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 do. do we need anything else? No. So I can just go back and here start setting on my thing. I'm just saying theater mode. I think theater mode should be set up right now. Toggle theater mode should be called. Okay, we have the toggle theater mode. It should be called once we click on the theater mode actually. On the theater button, we'll say. On click toggle theater mode. Very very fresh. Video uh, element listener can read properties of undefined reading element listener. What is not defined? Video is not defined. Why is it not defined? I just said ref is being equal to video ref, so what's the issue? I see no ones over here because errors are irritating me a lot. Video ref dot current. Can I read properties of undefined reading add event listener? Video dot current dot add event listener or video dot add event listener is basically going to be the same thing. Why are they doing the error? Enter picture and picture and leave picture. Let's want to say, yeah, we don't care. Let's see how the theater mode works. Guess what? It doesn't work. That's great to know. We having a theater button. We having a tall icon. Okay, I think our theater mode icons are not visible. Did we add something else here? No. So why isn't why aren't our theater mode icons visible? On click theater button mode. Okay, the button beach here where the tall and the wide. If it had a container and contain the theater mode, then I want my tall icon tall icon to be displayed none. But I want to show my wide icon. So they still are not not sh they still are not showing a white icon. I don't get it. They should have shown it, but they didn't, and uh, we just trying to find why. Yeah, but the white and tall and wide. I guess I messed up somewhere. Uh, video container the theater. So theater mode is basically working as we expected it to.
but we don't get it. We don't get to see the options. Is something incorrect in here? SVGs, I guess I add the right ones. So we'll come back in the next video because this video has been made up so long.